Oh yeah, the Wednesday Club. <laughs> I think I'm actually on time today. People probably aren't used to me being this on time. Hello everybody. Hi. How's everybody's Wednesday? Thank you, as always, for tuning in. Hanging out, hearing some live Plain White Tea songs. Oh yeah. Woo woo! Hello everybody, what is up? What is up guys? So, another edition of the Wednesday Club. Oh yeah. Cheers everybody, I have that shirt, oh no way. Kick ass. Yeah, um, I don't know if you guys know this, I'm wearing this shirt because there's a sale on our, on our web store right now, playwhitetees.com on our merch. 20% off everything you buy all of July if you use the code JULY20, 20% 20. Um, 20 off. So yeah, you can get this shirt and many other ones. We actually have like crazy designs from like Wonders of the Younger and like American Nights. Like a lot of old designs are up on the website. Um, so check out playwhitees.com. Check out some merch. 20% off. July 20 is the code. So I figured I'd wear this shirt, get in the vibe, you know? <laughs> yeah, the Wednesday Club. I love that that caught on. You know what? Would you guys buy, if, if I was thinking about making merch, making a Wednesday Club t-shirt, would you guys uh, buy one if I made that? I thought that would be kind of cool because this is kind of, I know there's probably a lot of the same people tune in every week. So it's kind of like our little thing on Wednesday nights. So uh, I was thinking of making a Wednesday Club t-shirt. So let me know. Um, I'll watch. I'll try to watch. I can't really see too, the comments too well. But if you guys would buy that, then I would totally uh, make some. Oh yeah, we're getting some yeses, cool. <laughs> Sweet, all right, cool. I will, uh, I will look into that. Maybe by next Wednesday, I can have that going. So that would be cool. Uh, hello everybody, cool. Yeah, everybody's rolling in, what's up? So, um, you know, for those of you that don't know, we do this thing called the Wednesday Club every Wednesday, um, where on Monday we put up some songs on our Facebook, Plain White Tees, and you guys vote for which songs I play on Wednesday night. Wednesday night I do a Wednesday Live, and um, I play the song, the top five songs that you guys pick for the week. And it's always very strange. So far, I, I, I think I did the calculation. I think this is the ninth week I've done it. And I haven't played the same song once yet. So this is gonna be, after today, 45 different songs, 45 different Plain White Tea songs throughout the weeks. So pretty crazy. I think I'm gonna try to do one more week to make it 50 songs, uh, uh, 10 weeks, 50 songs of all original, you know, all like never, only played once songs, you know, like no repeats basically. And then after 50 songs, I might have to start, um, you know, going back and putting some uh, some of the other songs back in the voting list for you guys. Um, I feel like, you know, I've never gone this long without playing Hater Delilah in my whole life, basically. So I feel like we got to start putting some of those, uh, you know, more familiar songs in the set list. These, these set lists are getting a little bit obscure. So <laughs> cheers to anybody that actually knows these songs. It's pretty cool. Oh, you guys are awesome. Thank you. All this positivity on here is so awesome. Um, thank you guys. Hope everybody's doing good. Um, I think I'm just going to get right into it here. So the um, this shirt right here is, off, is Parallel Universe. It's off of our newest album. I personally love this shirt. One of my favorite shirts that we have done because it's of the Red Ringer. It's like super 80s. And uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm like an 80s buff, you know, an 80s nut. Um, I've got my little side project, Million Miler, that's just straight up 80s stuff. Um, but the album that we made, Parallel Universe, the last Play My Tease album that we've made, 
um, was kind of like we're trying to go do an 80s thing, but like a futuristic 80s thing. Because you know how in the 80s, everything was kind of like about the future, like besides Back to the Future, of course, but like just everything like Tron and I don't know, just there's so much of that like, you know, bl even Blade Runner, I think that might have been late 70s, but like that vibe of like just what the future is going to be. And so we tried to make Parallel Universe as like, we're here now, this is the future, and it's like, what would, like, kind of thinking back to the 80s now, it's almost like the, the opposite of, like, back in the 80s, they were doing, doing the future thing, and we kind of did, like, a modern retro thing with Parallel Universe. So, anyway, the point of that story is that this first song on the set list tonight is off of Parallel Universe, um, and it's, uh, it's kind of a weird one for plain white tees. It's got some swear words in it. It talks about drugs and stuff, which is kind of odd. Um, and it says tits, which is very, very strange, I know. But I'll give you a little bit of a backstory on this song. The song is called Bonnie, I Want You. And uh, a little bit of a backstory on the song for those of you that don't know the story. Um, back when we were like just graduating high school, um, you know, it was like those summers back then were just like so cool, just a bunch of friends hanging out. You know, a few of us were going off to college. Um, I personally wasn't because that's right about the time the Plain White Tees started. So, um, you know, I was already just kind of dedicated to like, okay, we're going to do this band thing and we're totally going to make it. You know, I was like always believed in it. Um, but like in the, those summers when everyone was just kind of hanging out, there was this one girl that would hang out in our group of friends. Her name was Bonnie. And um, she was just this really cool, she had like a shaved head and like was super punk rock, but like super beautiful too. And all of us, all the dudes in like my group of friends were all like in love with Bonnie. Um, and so for this album, Parallel Universe, you know, kind of thinking back, um, I just thought about Bonnie and those cool summers that we had, those, you know, those few summers out of high school. And uh, I was just kind of thinking about Bonnie and she was kind of like, nobody really knew too much of her backstory. She was like this very mysterious, like friend. She was like a friend of a friend that would always be hanging out, but nobody really knew her that well. So I think there was a couple stories that uh, she like lived in a funeral home or something crazy like that. And I don't know what was made up by our imaginations or what was real, but Anyway, the mystery of Bonnie lives on. So I decided to write this song, um, kind of an ode to her and to that time in, in our lives. So this is uh, one of your requested songs this week off of the Parallel Universe album. This is Bonnie, I Want You. What you gonna do when the drugs run out? Stand in the street with your tits out. Bonnie, I want you. Bonnie, I want you What you gonna do when the sun comes up Trying to get a ride with the fuck-ups Bonnie, I want you Bonnie, I want you Once you know the way out It's even harder to stay out And once you know the things they're saying You know all of the games they're playing The only thing is true is Bonnie, I want you what you gonna do when the buzz wears off? Back up in the corner with your clothes off. Bonnie, I want you. Bonnie, I want you. What you gonna do when the truth sets in and nobody's around us to see them? Bonnie, I want you. Bonnie, I want you. What you gonna do when the 
when the sun comes up I'm trying to get a ride with the fuck ups Bonnie, I want you Bonnie, I want you Once you know the layout It's even harder to stay out And once you know the things they're saying You know all of the games they're playing Only thing that's true is Bonnie, I want you Bonnie, I want you off of the Parallel Universe album. Whew. Yeah. I feel good. I feel good today. Some high notes in that song. One, two, three. That's an A. It's a high A for those of you singers out there. That's pretty high. Pretty high for my range, that's for sure. But I got through it. I felt good. That's kind of a different take on that song, too, because on the album, it's kind of like this weird reggae-ish thing. But I wrote it just on acoustic guitar, just like that. Um, and it kind of felt cool like that, but we, we decided to mess with it a little bit in the studio. And, uh, you know, as soon as we kind of chopped up that guitar, it just, we were all kind of like, whoa, that's cool. And so we just never went back to the, to the straight version. But it's fun to play it on a guitar because it kind of has a, you know, just a, kind of a different, more haunting vibe, I think. Goes along with the song for sure. All right, so the next song on the set list has actually been up for vote, voting um, at least one other time, I know. And I was actually surprised it didn't make it the first time I put it up for voting um, because I feel like this is uh, some people's favorites off of the album, All That We Needed. Um, this song, this next song, again, it's, it's funny. Some of the songs this week are a little bit darker. I feel like, um, I feel like you guys were in a, in a good mood or a moody mood or dark mood or something this week because a lot of the songs that got picked are a little bit on the dark side of Plain White Tees. Um, you know, Bonnie's got drugs and tits and stuff like that. And uh, this next song has uh, like, you know, suicide and, you know, parents fighting and stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with you guys this week. I hope everybody's doing, doing okay. But this song off of the All That We Needed album uh, is called Breakdown. And I feel like I always screw up the words on this one because it's this story and um, I don't know. So hopefully I don't screw up the words. I feel like I say this every week. Um, and usually I do okay. But anyway, here's Breakdown. I 
I've seen a suicide He couldn't figure it out Blame himself because they couldn't get along I've seen his parents' eyes Trying to figure it out Where did our baby go and what went wrong It won't stop if they don't stop yelling It's not the way of working your problems out I can't stand being Yeah, breakdown off of the All That We Needed album. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's a fun one. Um, that one's a little easier to play with a pick. I wasn't thinking when I started that one. Some of those plucking parts, but yeah. That's the little riff. Anyway, cool. Thanks for that request, you guys. Um, yeah, I love that song. All that we needed, man. It's so funny that uh, going back to these old songs, a lot of the time um, when I do these Wednesday Club performances, um, I'm always surprised that a lot of the older songs always get picked. And it's like those albums were like before, before anybody knew the band, you know, it was like we had our, our group of diehard fans because we just toured the country nonstop for like five years. Um, you know, before getting any radio player recognition. I mean, probably, honestly, more like 10 years. Because, um, yeah, the band started in 97. We started touring pretty hardcore in 2001, I want to say. And, uh, yeah, so for about six, like, until, before we were on the radio, there was about six or seven years of, like, living in a van. And, like, like seeing our families, like, three times a year, basically. It was, it was pretty rough. But my point is, is that you guys seem to gravitate towards those old songs. Maybe it's just because you've been seeing us live over the past couple of years and we, we never usually play those old songs. So it's more of like a, a treat to get to hear them live on here. I don't know. But it's pretty fun for me because I get to go back and, uh, you know, just kind of remember, think back to, you know, some of those old tours and just writing those songs and practice practicing them either in uh in my basement or in dave's garage or something you know because that's where we used to rehearse and i don't know it was really fun back then it still is but it's fun to go back like i said i'm i kind of live i like to be nostalgic all the time so it's mm -hmm. cool to go back to those songs um speaking of this song is the oldest one of the uh of the list today This song actually, so this is <laughs> super old. <clears throat> this was on our album that uh, no one, that we never even put out nationally. We did a local, uh, lo when we were still a local band, we did, a, we did a, an album, a full length album that we put out and it kind of got us a, 
a good following around Chicago. Um, and then we got signed to Fearless. We made the album stop and then we got signed to Fearless. And um, so nobody ever really heard that old album. It's called Come On Over. And this next song was actually on that album, Come On Over. And everybody loved it, so we did a different version, a new version. In between Stop and All That We Needed, we recorded this version. And it never came out. And then Fearless about, I don't even know, once, once Delilah kind of blew up, Fearless, our old record label, they did a... Um, they did a reissue of Stop, our first, you know, first album, first national on a label album. And they put the, uh, the version, the, the new version of this song on that deluxe edition. So I'm going to sing that, that song. And this is the very first time I've put it up on the set list or up on the, on the voting list and you guys picked it. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. I feel like some of you guys, I've, I've noticed it come up in the comments. So I feel like some people were maybe hoping for this one. Um, but yeah, so I put it on there this week and sure enough, you guys voted it on. So off of the, and it was totally different on the Come On Over album too. It was like, uh, nope. Okay, I totally, I'm glad I'm not playing that version. It was like this little guitar part that actually our buddy Eric, Eric from TLB, he actually wrote a, a little guitar riff and we were messing around with it and I'm like, dude, I'm totally gonna use that and I think he thought I was kidding. And then I ended up writing this song around the riff and so he has songwriting credit for this song because he had this really awesome guitar riff that I, I, uh, I mean, stole basically, but not really. I told him I was going to do it and then I gave him credit for it. So he's stoked. But, um, but yeah, so the song originated with a guitar riff from Eric from TLB. So fun little known fact about this song and another little known fact about the song, it's called Cinderella story because there's no real, you know, a lot of our songs have choruses that are very, you know, Hey there, Delilah. You hear that line, what, eight times throughout the song, right? So that's the name of the song. One, two, three, four. Of course you hear that. But this song didn't really have one of those lines. I guess it, yeah, I, I, just another one of those days, but that just didn't sound like a cool title. So I wrote the song uh, after a girl, about a girl named Ashley Civarella. Her last name is Civarella. So I thought it was cool um, to, to call it Cinderella Story. I don't know. So here it is your voted song off of the Come On Over and Stop Deluxe album. So it is on Spotify and Apple Music and this is the version that you will find. So this is Cinderella Story.
Does he really give you all that you need? Does he feel better than me? I find that hard to believe. Why don't you tell me to believe? Why did you let me? Cinderella story off of the stock deluxe edition. A very rarity for Plain White Tees, man. Haven't played that song in, I, I mean, year. That's probably, yeah, I don't even, I don't even want to guess the last time we played that one as a band because uh, it's been a long time. Probably the oldest song that I've played um, in these Wednesday night, Wednesday clubs, so. So yeah. That was a fun one too to go back to and learn. Oh, thank you. I'm getting applause. <laughs> thank you. That was a fun one to go back to because since there was a couple different versions of that song, there was a couple slightly different uh, lyric changes and stuff too. So I was like, I tried to play it on my own before um, listening to it. And I got through it and I'm like, oh, okay, I kind of remember this. And then I listened to the version on the Stop Deluxe album. And it was like, I was singing totally wrong lyrics and stuff. So I kind of had to like listen to it a few times and be like, oh yeah, I forgot I changed that line. So pretty cool. Um, yeah. So we got two more songs left tonight. Um, oh, I'm getting some crazy applause. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, you guys. <laughs> That's awesome. My daughter just said I like that song. Good. Hey, thanks. Thanks, daughter. You know, the kids know. The kids know what's up. That's awesome. Um, all right. So, this next song, uh, we got two more songs. You guys know, probably know, that the number one voted song this week is our song off of the Wonders of the Younger album. That's awesome. That's the second time... I have put that one up for voting, and um, I'm I'm stoked that you guys picked that one. That was uh, you know that's a really cool like I always talk about Wonders of the Younger, being you know one of my favorite albums that we've done. So, so I appreciate that you guys love those songs off that album. Um, so this next song is um, I, I've got to I've got to make this a special little moment. Okay, one of our awesomest fans. It's her birthday today, and. Um, I was, I was, I might have thrown the song into the set list anyway, just because it's her birthday, but I'm pretty sure she had like everyone she knows, uh, vote for the song or everyone that loves her, I think just kind of vote bombarded, uh, bombarded us with votes on this song. So, uh, Linda, Linda Luz, um, you guys might know her as Linda Luz. That's her, her, you know, Instagram account and stuff. Um, she has, she always requests this song, um, and it's kind of funny because I don't even know how the hell she's heard this song because it's not even out. We put it out for one day only as like a Halloween thing, 
And I think it, like I had to listen to it today on YouTube. That's the only place I could find it. So maybe we will have to, um, maybe we'll have to do some kind of re-release of this song. Maybe we'll make like, like another Halloween song and we'll make like a seven inch or something cool like that so we can release it and then put it up on Spotify and stuff. Um, but uh, I think that before I do this song, we should all do like a big community Wednesday club. We should sing happy birthday to Linda. So all of you guys, I know you only have your little, um, you know, text bubbles here, but let's all just, you know, in our, our, you know, in spirit, let's all sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Linda Linderloos. Happy birthday to you and many more. <laughs> Happy birthday, Linda. Thank you for being so awesome through all these years. Um, you know, it's always good. Good to know that we have a, a, like a diehard group of fans. Um, so thank you for being one of them and um, you know, for asking for songs. That's what, that's what the diehards do. They, you know, they're always looking for, to hear those songs that we never want to play or we never play. So, um, this song actually though, funny story before I play it. Um, I love this song. I am so proud of this song. This was such a fun song to write. Um, this was actually kind of like a B-side for Wonders of the Younger. I was writing it when I was thinking of Wonders of the Younger. It's called House on Shady Lane, by the way. I don't know if I've mentioned that. But the song, um, it's like a, a, a haunted house song. And you know, in thinking of Wonders of the Younger, with all of the, um, you know, we've got Map of the World, we've got Welcome to Mystery, we've got Cirque Don LaRue, it's like all these childhood elements. Um, you know, I thought, what, you know, a haunted house. I, I, what's more like, makes you feel like a kid than, you know, an old ghost story, you know? So um, I actually wrote this one with, a, with my friend Ian Kirkpatrick, who I don't know if you guys know, but he actually produced the Wonders of the Younger album. And he's gone on to do like, he's got so, he's like one of the hottest producers in music right now. He did um, like Dua, Li Dua Lipa's New Rules, um, Jason Derulo, Selena Gomez. He works with everybody. And I wrote this song with him and he was actually kind of like, yeah, I don't know if I like it. Like, I'm not sure. It's so, it's just weird. Like who wants to sing about a haunted house? Um, and I was like, okay, let me just finish it. And um, so I, we basically wrote, he helped me with the music and the, uh, the first verse. And then I basically took it and I wrote the rest of it myself. And um, I just, I, I love the way it turned out. I'm super stoked. It's almost like, reminds me of like, like a Sublime song or like a, if Sublime did a ghost story mixed with like the Addams Family or something like that. I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. But anyway, I'm talking way too much. Um, so. Okay, so yeah, so Linda, um, you know, it's gonna be a different weird acoustic version. I'm gonna do my best to not mess up the lyrics and or the music, but this is for you. Happy birthday. This is House on Shady Lane. <clears throat> on Shady Lane by the old cemetery where the dead remain. This place is haunted, so they say. With my two friends and a flashlight, we waited till midnight. Till we couldn't wait no more, we opened up that door. Did you hear that sound? Did you hear that sound? Calling from the underground. I think somebody's down there We should go right now We should be right now I don't think we're welcome here And that's when she appeared Oh, oh, oh Scared of this old house When the lights go out All the ghosts come out at night They dance in the shadows of the moonlight Don't open that cellar door You've heard that one before What goes in? Tried to run, but the door was locked. Our hearts beat louder than the cuckoo clock. 1205, this old house came alive. Down at the end of the hallway, past the cop.
cobwebs and blood stains. In the beam of our flashlight was a lady dressed in white. She didn't make a sound, she just stared us down, floating in her wedding gown. Like she died right at the altar. Shivers down my spine, have we lost our minds? Let's just slowly back away. And after us, she We all ran our separate ways Down winding halls and secret passageways I hid downstairs, I thought I could escape I heard those footsteps behind me Lord, don't let her find me Around my neck I felt her hands I never even had a chance My body hit the ground And I never I made it. I got it through. House on Shady Lane, which is basically unreleased. You've got to listen to it on YouTube for now until we put that thing out for real. Um, but man, what a fun song. Oh, I wrote a song where I die in the end. How cool is that? <laughs> um, but that's my favorite part when it says, Now I'm just a ghost in this old house. Oh. You know, that's pretty... pretty uh, Epic, that moment. That's one of the most epic moments in any Plain White Tees song. I challenge you to find a more epic moment. But anyway, happy birthday, Linda. I hope that was awesome. I hope that's what you've been waiting for <laughs> this whole time of asking for that song for years. So cheers. Happy birthday. Ah, all right, guys. Well, we got one more song. One more song off of the Wonders of the Younger album. Um, your number one requested song this week. Uh, by the way, actually, um, our song and House on Shady Lane tied. And I made sure we put our song up as the most requested one. So House on Shady Lane could be a surprise. So, um, but yeah, so this is the technical tied for most requested song of the week. Um, off of the Wonders of the Younger album. This is our song. And uh, let's see, I guess I'm just going to play it and... And peace out until next week. Um, like I said, thinking about doing a Wednesday Club t-shirt. So hopefully by next week, that's my goal, is to have some something um, designed and maybe up and running so that I can announce it next week because I think that'd be so cool. I feel like, like I said, this has become um, kind of a fun, you know, a fun quarantine. I don't know if everybody's like quarantining anymore, but I know it's not the same as it used to be and I know we can't go out and play concerts so in this time, I know everybody's having fun hanging out on Wednesday nights and hearing all these old Plain White Tees songs with me. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to make a cool shirt so we can all uh, just kind of 
have this little thing between us that, that only we know about. So, so yeah, hopefully I'll have that by next week. And again, next week, I'm going to have an all new list of songs. Um, I'm going to keep it next week to songs that I have not played yet. So it's going to be like the ones that you guys have already not voted for like two or three times already. So next week's set list is going to be even weirder than this one, I'll bet you. But then after mm -hmm. next week, that'll be 50 songs played. 50 Plain White Tees songs. So then I'll probably keep some of those ones that haven't been played yet, but then I will start incorporating some of the older ones in there that have been played. Um, so you guys actually know uh, at least one song, one or two songs every week um, that end up making the set list. So anyway, thank you guys so much. Here's your number one requested song of the week. This is, um, uh, it's a love song and it's the right song. <laughs> this is called Our Song. So cheesy. of the Younger album, your number one requested song of the week, tied with House on Shady Lane. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging on these Wednesday clubs with me. Um, also, again, aside from the Wednesday club t-shirt that I swear I'm going to make for you guys, um, we've got the merch sale going on plainwhitetees.com. Everything on the site uh, is 20% off if you use the code JULY20. 
Um, and that's all the codes actually on the website. You'll see it. So check out playwrites.com. Get some cool summer merch going. And uh, again, thank you guys so much for hanging with me uh, on Wednesday, another Wednesday night, another another edition of the Wednesday Club. I love you guys, best fans ever. Linda, happy birthday again. And um, yeah, thanks everybody. I'll see you next week. Actually, I'll probably go live again either tomorrow uh, or Friday on my Million Miler account. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I was gave a little sneak peek of um, a new Million Miler song and kind of hung out and sang a little bit for you guys. So make sure you follow at Higgy Pop on Instagram and at million.miler.music on Instagram because I'll be going live, like I said, either tomorrow or Friday with some uh, new Million Miler stuff and singing a little bit with you guys and stuff. So anyway, love you. Until next week, everybody be safe. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I've said I love you about 15 times, but I love you guys. Thank you so much. See ya.